Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, just a quick one today, I'm going to actually be showing you my uh, rework of the spare room. It's not a big one, it's not major, um, it's nothing as good as Ben's like he showed the other week or anyone else's uh, rooms. I tend to be the kind of reseller who, oof, maybe like half a job Harry, that kind of reseller who never really does it in the best way. Oh, what was that? Oh, Van. I thought the window cleaners were here then, but yeah, anyway, so we'll get on with it. I'll show you sort of what I've done. Um, I actually like it. Now, I will explain in the room why I've got, why I've chosen the layout I've chosen, um, and hopefully you'll sort of see the kind of thing I want to achieve. So, yeah, anyway, we'll go in now. I'll flip you around and we'll go in now. So, let's get into it. So, the first box down there. So I'm going to go through a little bit of everything with you, but quite quickly, so and it's not a really long video. Um, that box down there is all FBA for Christmas, as well as that. That's washing, so ignore that. Um, I've been sniping a lot for Christmas the last few months, and I will continue to do that until, well, pretty much until Christmas. Um, as late as I can go, basically. Um, and that'll all be getting sent, well that will, not not the washing, but that will be getting sent up to FBA nearer Christmas as well as that. Um, I've also got a few bits in that cupboard over there, for, well, I say a few bits, I've got about two or three boxes worth of stuff for FBA, but, uh, for Christmas, but yeah, few bits. Um, uh, yeah, that box down there is just for Amazon FBA, and here, I will show you is... The sort of the, the new new room layer. I mean, sorry, it's not as good as Ben's room. One second, I'm just getting the door. Um, I'll flip you back round again. Sorry, it's not as good as Ben's room. It's not as good as most people's rooms. But you know what I'm like, half a job Harry and all that. Um, so, yeah, basically, I'll just... So, I'll do like a... Is it a first person or a third person view? Anyway, you know the view like uh, where we do the cameras, the as the um, person. So imagine you're me now, the camera's me, right? I come in, I've got a little bag in my hand here from the car boot or whatever. I go doodly. So this is my thinking basically with this room. Uh, this is entirely, actually before we start the first, first person or third person thing, I just want to mention this is entirely a processing room now. There's no listed stuff in here. Everything comes in and goes out. Now, in a fairly quick space of time, unless I've got a backlog, right? Um, so, basically, my thinking was, I need the room to have flow. So, and what I mean by that is, it comes in, it goes around the room, and then it comes out again, right? So, here, so my photo area was over there. If you see older videos, you'll see it over there. So, it is a bit different, this room, actually. So, we, we come in. Your, the camera is me again now, right? So, I've got a bag in my hand. Diddly, 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 do, diddly. We whack it down there, right? Or maybe we whack it under there, I don't know. Oh, and yes, that is that Mega Drive that I've had sat there for about eight months or whatever. I've just not got round to listing it yet. I need to, I need to. Um, it's got all of its wires and everything. I just, you know, I just need to test it. But it's one of them things, and it's it's not like it's a terrible item or anything, you know, it's not a terrible item to deal with or anything, but it's just one of them things I've just not got round to, I just keep thinking, oh, I've got to test it, you know? But I'm usually not like that, usually I'm pretty good with testing video games, but when it comes to Mega Drives, I don't know, I just, I've had a, I've had a couple of Mega Drives, and I don't know, I just, I, I'm just not that keen on testing them as much as Nintendo stuff, like, um, you know, NES or... Uh, modern Nintendo stuff I like testing, but I don't know, Mega Drive, I just, uh, anyway. But, yeah, let's get on with it. So, you come here, diddly do, put your bag down, uh, and then, then, say, a couple of hours later, you come back in, and maybe your bag's under there, or maybe it's there, I don't know. You then take something out of your bag, put it up here. This is now a processing table, separate to my photography table, because, or photography area, because I was using this as a processing area. As you can see here, probably not very well, but you can see there is marks on it. Um, and I will try and wipe that down a little bit more today, actually, just to get it nice and clean. But they are once once they set in, it's hard to get them off once they're properly set in. You can get, like, uh, little bits off, but 
yeah, they're like quite, they're going to be quite hard to get off unless you might be some sort of soap or something. I, I might be something I could use for it. I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, so I've got a processing table now which I can, you know, tear to shreds. I can use a knife on it. I can do, you know, whatever needs be. Um, so then the items have just come in ready to get processed straight away. Ready, right? Boom. Get it up here. Clean it. Put batteries in it. Test it. What you know, whatever needs doing with it, I don't know. Whatever needs doing, getting sticky labels off it or anything, that'll get done. Now, my equipment. Where's my equipment? Oh, my all my sticky labels and stuff that were in that big set of drawers uh, are temporarily in that bag down there that you can't see. So I actually need a more perm. I might use this work. I might might use this shelf here, the windowsill. Um to have like a, a proper, you know, set of, uh, what do you call them, like just like a little set of trays with all my different things in, with my sticky, uh, with my sticky label remover, uh, my uh, cable ties, cable ties are a big one for me, um, I always use a lot of cable ties for FBA for consoles, um, my FBA bags, my poly bags with the suffocation warning labels on, and then a few other little bits and bobs. That is the bomb thing that is sort of just being quite decorative there. But also I don't want to put it in a box or anything. I want to see it. I want to know that it's there. And I want to know that it's not exploded and not killed us. So that's just there. <laughs> so um, I might do that in the future. But anyway, getting back to the actual flow of the room. Uh, we pick it up, do that, process it. Goes on to the photo area, all nice and clean and lovely, so it doesn't dirty up the photo area. Um, then we move the lights in position. I know they're not very great. I know they're not in a great position there, but it's just quickly so I can show you. One second. Right, let's turn them on. I know it's not going to be great because I've not got them in position and it's daylight. But, and you won't really get the full effect, but, yeah, it does look good, just trust me on it, it does look pretty good. Um, and what I what I generally do is do them a bit later on anyway, so it's gone a little bit darker. Uh, like, last night I did them about 8, 9 o'clock, and in winter it's going to look really good, because um, it'll be dark outside, and when I flip them on I think it'll look quite nice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I know you can't see them that... They're that great. I know they're not in the best of position. I might actually have that one a little bit back because that's a little bit too in the way. And then that one about there. But I don't know really. And then what I'd do is obviously do my picture down there. But it is quite nice. Oh, let's uh, let's just see if I can't show you a little bit. So i just sort of do that. I don't know how well it's going to focus. One sec. Oh, it's not wanting to focus now. Playing. Oh, there we go. See that? It's not. It's a nice photo. That anyway. So that's that. So if you get photoed, one second. Turn these. Go. I know it's not very professional video, but there's not really a way I could do it very professionally. One second. Let it focus. Right there we go. So then they come off the posting table and go immediately down here. I know that's not much of a flow, you know, because you don't go out the door yet, but. Um, we go immediately down here. Then at the night time, I do most of my listing at the night time. So at the night time, uh, they'll get listed. The next day, I come in here, grab them, and out we go to storage. So that's the flow of. Oh no! I've got a return request. That's bloody annoying. I, I've never, I've never seen them pop up on my phone before. Usually, have to go into my messages and check them. But yeah, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Bloody return request when you're doing a video. Anyway. Um, so, uh, I hope that's not on something really high value or anything, but, yeah, anyway, um, what was I going to say? That's thrown me off a bit now. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, then we go out to storage. So, as I was saying, it's kind of got some flow. It's got, like, you know, it comes in, it goes along here, goes along this, like, little conveyor belt, goes down here, and then it goes out. So, yeah, not too bad, I quite like that. Um... The thing I might struggle with is getting a little bit backed up with stock. As you can see, I've got a bit of a backlog here. Uh, some of this stuff is actually for Christmas, so it's just going to be sat there for a while yet. Um, and those two boxes are full there, or virtually full. 
So, and obviously with this granny trolley in here, means I can't have loads of stuff there. So, I might see myself getting a bit backed up when I get a big auction haul. But, you know, that's just something I've got to kind of deal with. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to be able to create loads and loads of space in here. So, yeah, I mean, if I have to, I might put something on top of there. But I don't want anything too heavy on there because we're already stacked too high. And they are heavy, those boxes. So, don't want too much strain on the floorboards there. Um, but I don't know. We'll deal with that when it comes. That's just like a, a little thing, really. But, yeah, um... I need to process some of this stuff today, actually. But I just wanted to show you it, just to just to give you a bit of an update on this room because I do like doing updates on this room when I, um, you know, when when I update it, you know, and it just it gives me something to uh, look back on as well. So uh, just as much as you guys. So it, yeah, it's it's something that I like doing these videos, these little updates. So yeah, um, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. We don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. Oh no, we could dance and party all night and drink some cherry wine. Uh huh, na 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 na.